As mentioned before, I'd like to now place a clip in the timeline via drag and drop to show you how the source channel mapping function works when using the mouse. I'd like to just use a part of the clip, and so I can use the in and out points to select a section of the clip. It's not really important for now how long our clip is, so I'll simply drag and drop the clip into the timeline by clicking on the clip in the preview window with our left mouse button and dragging the clip onto track 1VA. I can see, due to the placeholder that appears, exactly where the clip will be placed in the timeline when I let go of the left mouse button. And as long as I am over the 1VA track, then the placeholder is shown in that track. I'll let go of the mouse button, and as the placeholder showed us, it appears in the timeline, including both audio and video tracks, which is what we would expect, and is also how the source channel mapping has been set up. Now, I'd like to insert the clip again via drag and drop. However, this time, I will drag the clip from the preview window and place it over track 2V, and not over track 1VA. And we can see, via the placeholder, that the source channel mapping is ignored, and the video will be placed on 2V, and the audio will be placed on the next available audio track, this being 1A. I'll let go of the mouse button now, and as we can see, if I work with drag and drop, the source channel mapping is ignored by EDIUS, and the clip is placed where the mouse pointer is positioned, which in my case is above track 2V. We could imagine a situation where I want my video clip to be on track 2V, but my audio clip should not be on track 1A, but on track 3A. I'll change the destination track for audio to 3A, and drag and drop my clip onto track 2V. And we can see that my video track has been placed correctly on track 2V, but my audio track has been placed by EDIUS on audio track 4 for some reason. It looks as if EDIUS has just chosen the next available audio track. I'll undo this and do the following changes to my procedure. I'll put the destination video track up to track 2V. And now we can see that when I use drag and drop to place the clips, EDIUS will position both audio and video correctly. So video ends up on track 2V and audio lands on track 3A as we wanted. The reason this has happened is because I placed my clip onto the track, in my case 2V, that had the source channel mapping set up, and so EDIUS looks for the corresponding audio track, this being 3A. We can also see that this works the other way round. If I drag the clip and position it above track 3A, and the moment we are in the track with a defined source map, then EDIUS looks for the corresponding audio, or in this V. If I try to place a clip in a non-defined track, then EDIUS will look for a place itself to position the video or audio section of that clip, this being the next free track. In relation to this, I'll show another small example. I'll move the destination track back to track 1VA, and put the audio destination at 2A. And we can see that when I position a clip via drag and drop onto track 1VA, the audio part of the clip is indeed placed on track 2A, just as we wanted with our definition. Now, I'd like to empty our timeline again to show a few other examples. Shift A to select all clips, and then delete. And now I will change the source channel mapping, and I would like to deactivate the mapping for video by clicking here on the V, and the video track is greyed out. Now, if I drag the clip into track 2A, then we see that only the audio content is inserted. However, if I try to place the clip in a video track, then we can see that the video part is actually inserted, despite the fact that there is no destination track specified. What we see with this is that EDIUS is interpreting the fact that we are trying to place our clip on a video track as meaning we wish to do so, and this takes precedence over our settings for the source channel mapping. So the dragging of a clip into a video track takes precedence over our settings, and of course this works the other way around too. If I specify my destination track as only a video track, and drag the clip to that track, then only the video part will be used. However, if I try to place the clip on an audio track, then EDIUS allows me to do so, as well as placing the video part of the clip into the relevant track.
And so, we have seen a selection of basics for working with drag and drop, and we have discovered the source channel mapping functions. For most basic editing operations, or for starting a project, then the default settings are usually sufficient. And so, I will reset everything to those defaults. By drag and drop, I will move the track destinations back to their starting positions, those being that both audio and video are placed on track 1VA. These track destination options are mainly useful for extended editing operations or complex projects. And so it is important for those projects to understand the options EDIUS gives you. Finally, a small tip. If you have moved the source channel mappings around a bit and wish to reset them to the original settings, you do this by right mouse clicking in this column and using the reset source channel mapping function.